Welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about wait for download activity in UiPath. Okay. So we are going to understand what is the purpose of this activity and we are going to cover this with a demo. Okay. So in most of the use cases like while uh, you are going to uh, approach for an automation, there can be situations like you, you may have to download some files from um, uh, any of the website or from any of the application or you may be getting it through uh, any FTP or something like that okay or maybe via mail okay so once you get that uh, file then only you can proceed with the next step of activities right so suppose just consider you have two applications okay A and B and you are getting the file uh, from the uh, application A so you have to navigate to that application you need to download that file and for downloading it will take some time uh, maybe some two or three minutes it will take once the download got completed then you have to open up the second application then you need to uh, open up the file which you downloaded from application one and you need to read the data from that and you need to upload that in in some of the form which is available in uh, application b okay so this is one sample scenario so here you have to download the file from application a and it is taking some time and it can be dynamic so maybe it will take some one minute or maybe it will take only three minutes so it can be dynamic so uh, what what you will have to do you need to wait till that downloading will get complete right so how we can uh, do that using wait for download activity that's what we are going to see today okay so these are the scenarios that we are going to cover so we have to open the rpa challenge website okay and we need to download the file we need to move to another folder from downloads folder that is nothing but like from the rpa challenge if you are downloading it will go to download folder from there we need to move to another folder and from there we need to read the file and we are just going to display the data okay we are not going to open up any other application at all for this demo we are just opening that file and we are going to display the data okay and meanwhile i will tell you where we can use this uh, wait for download activity and how it will be useful okay for that uh, let me go to ui path uh let me do one thing let me use the delete file activity first and uh, let me go to the desktop okay i have this folder demo okay so we are going to use this folder for moving the file from download to uh the demo folder okay so let it be here then what we have to do is we need to delete the file from downloads as well as we need to delete the file from uh the demo folder right so before to that let me open up our rpa challenge rpa challenge.com Okay, so if you open up this rpachallenge.com, you will be able to see one download button, download Excel. If you click on that, it will download the file challenge1.xls file. Okay, I think already one file is there. Okay, so it will be downloading like a challenge.xls file. Okay, so let me open this file. And uh, let me do one thing. Let me uh, copy this and uh, let me put inside demo folder. Okay. So meanwhile, let it open. And I'm going to our UiPath Studio, and we need to uh, delete the file prior to the execution from the download folder, right? So let me go to download folder. I'm going to select a challenge. Okay. So before downloading the file, each time it has to delete this file, right? So there can be situation like the file name is constant and you need to download the same file to uh, your system. Okay. So what you can do first prior to the execution, you can delete the existing file and you can keep the downloaded version, right? After that, you can copy the file to the new location or another option is uh, instead of copying, you can directly move the file. Okay. So that is also uh, possible. And uh, here. Let me copy this activity again, paste it here. 
let me delete it from desktop folder as well okay demo folder we are deleting then what we have to do once it is done we need to download the file right so for that okay so this is the uh, file which sorry this is the data which we are getting from that challenge.xlss file so once you open that you will be getting a few set of data you have to uh, open this excel and you need to read it okay and you need to just display it in the uh, message box okay that's what we are going to uh, do today close this file okay so next step what i'm going to do is we need to open up this uh, rp challenge and we need to download this right so let me do one thing let me record that session okay i'm just clicking on download excel okay so here you can see it has uh, captured the uh, page and it is clicking on the download button right so it will act like a container let me post it and let me save it okay so what we are doing we are deleting the existing files and uh, we are clicking on the download button now it will get download to our uh, download folder right then what is the next step either i can use the move uh, file or i can use the uh, copy file activity so let me use a move file mm -hmm, sorry where is the destination i need to copy from downloads challenge open to destination where is the destination it's in desktop demo okay okay and if there is any system file just overwrite on top of it okay so that's it then what is the next step we need to uh, open the file right we need to open the file and we need to read that uh, uh, file that's what we are going to do so let me use use excel file activity let me open up the excel desktop demo challenge open okay and inside that i'm going to use read range activity what should be the range excel okay sheet one i'm going to read and i'm going to save it to a data table so let me name it like a dt okay so that's it and uh, once it is done what's the next step we need to output this right so okay so in order to convert the data table a uh, format to string uh, we have to use the output data table activity okay so i'm going to use output data table let me choose our dt data table and we need to create a uh, output string so let me na name it like a my data okay so that's it and we are going to display it in a message box okay so it's my data okay output data table is my data uh, outside the scope we need to so i'm putting it like a sequence okay and here we are going to display it <laughs> okay so what i'm going to do is let me delete these files Okay, so let me delete these files. I'm going to desktop demo folder. Let me delete this file as well. Okay, and I'm going to execute this. We'll see what is going to happen. Okay, run file. So the execution is yet to start.
okay it, it is opening rpa challenge and it clicked on download excel sheet and here we are getting the error like move file cannot find the file okay inside the download folder it is not able to find this challenge.xls because uh, during this activity the file is getting downloaded okay it's not properly downloaded still it is in a downloading uh, uh, way okay so once it uh, downloaded then only we have to use this uh, move file activity okay so there can be situations like uh, instead of downloading it in within seconds it may take around one minute two minutes or three minutes or maybe more to that right so what we can do in, uh, if there is a uh, <coughs> dynamic uh, timing for downloading this file so what i'm going to do is here we are going to introduce this activity wait for download okay so what is wait for download so detects a file download from in any application and waits for the download to complete before any further processing of the file in the automation okay so whatever the activity that you're going to use after downloading then only it will proceed okay so that's what we, what we are going to use now so here we are downloading then here we'll have to use this activity right wait for download okay and activity to initiate download what is the activity to initiate download so let me do one thing let me cut and paste it inside here okay then after that monitoring folder is uh, admin downloads that is correct and uh, also uh, we need to provide a um, variable here okay so this this variable will help to give uh, or get the uh, info regarding the file which is getting downloaded okay so i will tell you how this activity is going to work so it will monitor this particular downloads folder okay so whatever the file which is going to download through this particular activity your path will monitor that and once that downloading it complete then only it will proceed with the next activities okay that is move file so here what i'm going to do is let me create a new variable uh, let me name it like a downloaded file okay so this will be of a form uh, file info okay so whatever the details that you want to get regarding the file you can use this particular variable and you can use that so that let me use mm, right line activity and uh, download file dot um, we'll see what are the attributes which is available so here you're going to use okay full name let put it like a full name it will print out the full name of the file which got downloaded okay so earlier we were getting um, the error like the file file doesn't exist but now we are going to execute and we'll see what is going to happen okay so before to that let me delete the files okay or even if you are not deleting also it's fine because uh, in the initial steps itself we are deleting the files okay okay so let me run this uh, file and we'll see what is going to happen run file okay now it has started the downloading of file challenge.xls file and it has copied a uh, to demo folder and earlier we got the error in this particular stage right while moving the file but now it is not happening because it's properly waiting for the downloading to get complete okay now what happened it opened the uh, excel sheet and it is reading the data and after that it will convert the data table to a string and it will display it in the message box so only for this demo purpose uh, demo purpose we are using the message box activity in your requirement it can be different right uh, like uh, earlier i mentioned you have to read the data from this excel and you need to upload that in a another application okay so if that is the case you have to look through each row and you need to upload it or if the file type is like something different like me it can be some pdf or it can be some word document you have to open those pdf file and you need to get the data from that and you need to process it or you need to upload it to some different forms okay but here in this video i just showed you like where you can use this wait for download activity which is a very useful activity which is providing by uipath so it will automatically wait for the 
downloading of the file to get complete okay so that is very much important because if the final downloading is not completed means it will impact the entire uh, um, execution okay so the system will have to wait for it so now you can see it has converted to string and it displayed in the message box click on okay that's it our execution got completed okay so this is how you can use this wait for download activity to uh, properly wait for the downloading to complete and i hope uh, you are clear about this um, uh, concept and the activity which we uh, just seen. If there is any confusion regarding this activity and the usage of this activity, please do comment in the comment section. Also, uh, please like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, thanks for watching the video. Bye.